just down some pre. While I'm there, I'm not going to be explaining the movements while I'm training. The background of music at iron makes it a little difficult, but that's not a problem. So what I'll be doing is I'm going to get some clips while I train, come back, sit down, break down everything from why I chose the movement to what reps and sets per movement I do. Kind of give you my thought process behind that as well. And then Anthony back in town, he got back last night and we have plans to do something later, not sure. I think it'll be a good time, but without further ado, let's get into the back breakdown. Okay, here we go. First up, got some lap pullovers. I always like to start my workout with this. Um, I follow like a structured workout plan um, me and my friends that created just because we do know my weak points and we do know what we wanna focus on moving forward. So for me, it is lats from the front and then lower back and overall density. I know that sounds like a lot, but it is. But yep, here we are. We have lat pullovers. Um, if you can, if there is, if there's anything, like if you can look closely, there is a lip under my heels to go onto the mats. Try to put your feet there, that way a majority of your weight is pushing forward into your toes. That way you're almost leaning forward and when you drive down, bring your elbows to your hips so you can get the most out of your contraction when you do your pullovers. But for this, just did one warm up set and now we're starting to work up to a working set. What I do for my working sets is I try to find a weight that pushes me and it's extremely heavy obviously since I'm so low it's kind of difficult to like squeeze out those um, assisted reps. You want to aim for a weight that you'll fail at 12, but then with a partner you essentially get 15 and really get those um, last final reps out of it. Yeah, you can just see my face. I'm like, Jesus, this is not it. Would definitely say one of the body parts that I struggle training is definitely back just because to be honest I don't know why it's like let me know in the comments below if you have any muscle groups that you have a difficult time connecting with for me my back sometimes can be one of them and today was it but I wanted to make sure I pushed through here we have a single arm pull down uh, again this one I'm trying to keep my hand a little bit rotated towards like palm towards me and then notice how i'm leaning towards the side to whichever arm i'm pulling with in my head i'm doing this because the way your lat anatomically is connected to your body is it wraps so if you can lean then you're essentially just putting your lat in a better line of force with the with the weight but yep here we are Got our second arm. Nothing too crazy. I'll tell you one thing. When you let it just stretch at the top, it hurts like a motherfucker. I had to adjust my grip just because it was starting to slip. I had some sweaty hands there. You wanna hold your, with your other arm, you wanna hold it just to like kind of keep you locked in to sort. And then you're kinda of just going. For me, I just did a hard set. Did two hard sets of 10 to 12, and then I did a back off before moving on to my next movement. I definitely noticed this workout. I was half there, half worrying about if the 
clip was going to be decent or if it would fit but I think at the end of the day I still got a pretty good workout my back is still sore and then here we are my favorite movement this is a seal row not too many gyms have this piece but if they do I highly recommend you use it just because this one completely takes your like lower body momentum out of the movement as you can see here I'm going more for an upper back targeting as you can see here I'm targeting more of my upper back I'm essentially having a wider grip and then driving my elbows out wide and high oh there goes the focus doesn't come back till the very end of the clip but not the biggest deal this is only a warm-up set just trying to get a feel for the for the weight right now and then we'll be moving into a top set I think look at, that, look at those buttery oh yeah here we are we got two plates well 225 plates on each side might not look like a lot but for me this thing felt heavy as shit here we go my biggest tip on this would be to be conscious of the range of motion like the whole way through make sure you're squeezing at the back like even if it's just for a slight second squeeze at the back and then fight it on the way down almost let it feel like if you're imagining your upper back like it's just like like pulling you down and sh like just opening up your entire upper back shelf as you come down and then for my second hard set I actually dropped it I just uh, instead of do doing two 225s I did a 25 and a 10 this one felt really good um, I was able to really keep the target to my upper back and not have to use my like legs which you shouldn't do at all but but from there we went into a intensifier set which was a quarter plate with a 10 and then we dropped it just to the quarter plate and then after I did my sets and reps you could see I'm just holding it at the bottom so essentially it's a stretch pause you're just letting it stretch you're just really feeling that burn in your upper back and then after that you just finish off with reps again and then yep i'm cooked so next up we got the prime seated row huge thing with this machine is it has so many modifications to your height and your needs so just really make sure you are adjusting the seat adjusting the chest pad probably sounds like a really th dumb thing to point out but I've seen it so definitely one thing to keep an eye out on and then here really just focusing on driving our elbows back this is essentially for the mid back and just want to get a good squeeze out of it this machine always feels really good so that was simple just four sets two hard sets two back off sets and like now we're just on the biceps wrapped up the back portion going towards biceps got some single arm creature curl this one felt a little odd um, I would definitely say I need to look around the gym and find some bicep movements that I really are like fond of haven't really found those two pieces yet where it's like oh I could do those for days and I could get a great contraction and pump out of it but this one for what it was it still felt really good I just had I do I was just struggling finding a really good positioning for it but uh, we get towards it towards the end Here we just moved into some double arms just because I did three sets with single arms and then I was going to do three sets with uh, both arms. Weight hasn't really changed. Um, for me, I'm a big believer in, especially with your arms, especially with any movement in that regard, your body doesn't know the number of the weight that you're pulling or you're pushing. 
as long as the intensity is there and the contraction is there. So focus on getting from point A to point B, from stretch to squeeze, as perfect as you can for the amount of reps you need and trust me, you'll feel it regardless. You, you will feel it. And then obviously once you do get stronger, the weight will go up over time, but don't let the number be the predetermining factor of why you're even using it. But with that being said, we're moving into some rope cable curls. For me, I also think I lack forearms, so that's why I do this and hammer curls, but I didn't do hammer curls today. Simple rope curls, nothing too fancy about these. I don't really think there's any tips to give on these. Um, This is the type of movement where you really just want to squeeze out any remaining energy you have in your arms and your forearms just because it's constant tension with the cable and it's you know you can really burn out and then here we go oh, look at that it's funny if you guys I was mid phone I just got a phone call from my friend Zach so I had to take that real quick but moving on to the last set. Yep. Definitely see it in my face that it's burning right now. Bro, stop stopping. What up? Dude, this kid's a bitch. Look at this kid. Dude, look at those forearms. They're so small. Fuck. He's got all young LA on now. He's handsome. Cut your hand. Huh. Finally, you're done. Oh, okay. Damn fat. <laughs> but no, in all seriousness, we're currently on like week two of a recomp right now. Um, just really making sure I nail my diet at this point, just because I'm sitting around like 196 in the morning right now, and I just want to clean it up, especially from this composition that you're seeing right now. Nothing crazy, nothing too bad, but once you've been stage lean, it's so difficult to look at yourself and not stage lean, but you have to just go with it because I will grow at this composition far faster than if I'm just stage lean and have nothing in me. But yeah, I think that'll do it. So thank you guys. Off to the fair. Was not expecting the fair to be closing this soon. I'm used to fairs ending at like 10 p.m., 11 p.m. Granted, I know that's what the time it ended on Friday, Saturday, but why not Sunday? Are we there yet? Yeah, he's praying for the Lord. 
Now, you did actually go to the fair. If you didn't get your favorite fair foods. Hey, hey. No. No.